Hi guys, this is Etalanyi rebranded once again and uh, we are in Gatina. Gatina it is in entire it is under Kangware. And today one Once again, welcome to Adela Nyeri Branded, a channel that shows you the lifestyle of this particular area and different areas. So guys, today I'm showing you a video on Kawangware area, how people are living in Kawangware in this particular hard economic times. And today here, currently, I'm at Gatina. Gatina is under Kawangware I'm, and I'm going to show you the Kawangware market and how people are surviving in this particular hard economic times. So to start with guys, you can see here, we have this particular product here. I don't know how it is called in English or Swahili, but I know in the vernacular it's called Makwangara. That's a, a vernacular part of it. But in English, I'm not sure. You can tell me in the comment section. So it is a product made from a mixture of charcoal and cow dung. So you take a dry cow dung and then you mix with the dust from the charcoal. So you have got your charcoal and then the dust from, you have used it, and then that particular residue, you mix with the cow dung, you make this particular product that you can use in your cooking. It's very cheap, it's very economical, and I'm told you only need around four of them to make your supper, that is, if you are cooking with garlic and boga, they are enough to make it. So guys here, we are at, uh, we are heading to Madiaba and the population here as you can see, watu wa mejazana sana, I don't know why, watu wa kawangware, mbona munapenda kawangware sana, is it the cheap housing, ama cheap food, how is the lifestyle here, I've never lived here but the population here is very high compared to other regions, so you can tell us what makes you like this particular area so this is Madiaba area we are heading to Muslim as we try to connect to Kawangware as we try to connect to Kawangware market <clears throat> and you find that in this particular region we watu. as you drive you are the one to uh, give pedestrians way because at some point they refuse is it they refuse or the, at some point they just stay on the road as I own a bidu was on Geki Dogo, as you go your way. So you can, as you can see, there's so many things being sold along the road. Kuna viatu, kuna viakula. So there are so many things being sold. Kuna mboga apa. Kuna nguo zinauzwa. So everything you need. What wa mamons wa mezoe hata kuna nikuni. So what when you're all under one roof, here we say we can say all under oh all alongside one road. So as you can see some sections of Onguaro, Kawangware have good houses. You can see this particular flats here, uh, they are good, I think I should visit one day and uh, ask if I can manage to pay rent there for a babysitter or a, a one bedroom house. So you can see the road network also, the road network is also good, the one we are using here. And, uh, Business as usual along the road, and they are kind of selling everything. So, Angora, I think uh, from the look, people 
or settle so that particular notion Ongwaro is hard to live I'm getting to question it because I'm seeing the population is high people are smiling in these hard economic times and uh, the roads are good you can see even have good vehicles here expensive vehicles around here German machines so I think it's an area whereby we have all classes of people from the lower to the middle and then to the rich when you use this particular uh, video analysis that we are doing here so the constructions are still on for the other houses and we are here at this particular stage so if you go straight you are going to if you go straight you will be going to uh, Naivasha Road that will link you either to Gong Road or on the other side to Kikuyu Road or the other side to Udiru and here we are at 46 Kawangare 46 and you can see also the building the 46 residency here uh, it is a nice building which means uh, we have some good guys or the living standards here are a little better for some guys so we are still moving we are heading to the market we are almost to the market around one minute there we are there at the market so guys here on my right is the kenya bus uh, service center and then we are on this road heading to Myers, Tusha Fika Myers, and you can see the business looming as always in this particular area. So from Myers we shall join this particular Naivasha road. Uh, on my left here it is a road going to the market but I don't want to use this particular entrance. Uh, because of the traffic at this particular time we shall use the entrance at the main gate where they call it the main gate at the cooperative bank around there on Naivasha Road up on Tutatumia, Naenda Kutumia so this is Maya's stage or Maya's area and uh, we have the Maya's in here where we have the Maya's launch I think that the one that made it the, the area to be known as Myers uh, stage. So from Myers here, you are joining me the Russia Road, and you can see there are foodstuffs on my right. You can see there are bananas here, and they are going for are going at twenty shillings. So you can you can see life is a bit cheaper here as far as buying of this particular banana, bananas is concerned because for going at 20 shillings and they are the big ones in other areas we we'll get one going at 10 or even 15 20 shillings but here you will get them at four and then on my right there are stalls here there are stalls so this is Naivasha road heading to now Dagoreti Corner, Dagoreti Corner or Ngong Road Junction. So guys, welcome again. We are already here. Uh, we are getting into the market, the Ongare Market. And as you can see, the entrance is here in between the cooperative bank building and this particular Alingo Plaza in between the gate of Kawangware Market. It is alongside this particular Naivasha Road. So we are getting in. We want to see how the food, the food stuff that are being sold there and their prices. And mark you guys, you will be surprised with the prices and the quantity of the foods that are being sold here. Maybe that's why people love uh, this particular Kawangware area. And you can see there's traffic all over. There are so many guys, there are so many people, there are vehicles, traffic of vehicles and there are businesses all over on this, alongside this particular group. So welcome as I take you through the market to show you some, a few things that are being sold there. Let's go. 
So guys, we are already in the market. Let me show you the market and how the market is working. And uh, as you can see, so many things are being sold here. And, uh, Stuffs. There's everything in this particular market. You can see on my right, we have apples here. Uh, we have so many things. We have clothes. So everything is being sold in the market. Yeah? And if you look at the prices, you'll be shocked. Things going as cheap as 30 shillings, 40 shillings, 20 shillings, 100 shillings. So it is easier. Let's get in. And this particular shop and see how we can work here. So guys, I've peeped in one of the shops here and there's a shop selling shoes and there are different types of shoes. You can get the canvas here, you can get the air force, you can official shoes, sports shoes on the other side. So there are different even school shoes. Even 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 the school shoes are here and I've decided to buy school shoes for our boy here and so I think this one are the best one I'm going to begin for this one because it's a bit lighter if you look at the sole compared with this particular heavy sole. So I'm going to begin about this one to see the price. If I can manage, yes, I'm going to take it. You Guys, um, already out of the market, Kaungari market, but because of the traffic, the traffic was so huge and the bargaining that was being involved in, it was very hectic, I couldn't really make, uh, take all the videos, but at least you have had a glimpse of what this particular market is all about. So, guys, next time, more video, uh, the video is coming about this particular market, uh, market inside it and it will be a lengthy one. I'll come at, the, at a time when there's no traffic as it was today. So guys, please support me through subscribing. Those who have not subscribed, and those who have subscribed, please like and share and comment in the comment section so that we can go together. We are on a journey of a thousand uh, subscribers. And, uh, so guys, that's the end of the video. And I please, I urge you guys to please share, comment and like. And remember also to hit the notification bell to get more videos that are coming on your way. Thank you guys and thanks for the love and support. Bye.